I'm Amanda and welcome back to the Mud and Ink Teaching YouTube channel. I am so excited you are here with me today and I know you've been scrambling around the internet looking for something fun and engaging to do with your students and choice boards are totally where it's at. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own digital choice board. I'm going to show you how to do it for poetry, but this can be applied to so many other different genres and types of activities in your classroom. It'll be a super versatile new instructional strategy that you can add to your toolbox. I've used choice boards for assessments, for projects. I've even used them just for formative assessment and straight up instruction. Choice boards are the way to go because we know that the key to student engagement is almost always choice. And poetry choice boards or choice boards in general are this really sneaky way for us to offer choice, but we still have a lot of control over what those choices are. So creating a digital poetry choice board for your class is something that you should not sweat. I'm gonna walk you through it today in five easy steps. You're going to want to do a couple things to get started. One, you're going to want to scroll down into the description box and download the free template. This is going to come to you through your email. So enter your email and I'm going to send it on over to you so that you can follow along and take notes as we get started. And then you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Google account. Of course, you could just watch this video first and then do this later. But if you want to work right alongside me, you can split screen. You can put me on the side and put your Google, um, you're going to have a Google slide document open, ready to go. And we're just going to jump right in. These digital choice boards can be assigned through any LMS. And I think you guys are going to find lots of opportunity and ways to get creative in making these personal and your own and connected to whatever it is that you're teaching in your classroom. The best thing is once you've made this digitally, it's already prepared for printing. So if you wanted to do this in live in person, once we're back in our classrooms, you certainly could just hit file and print. So we're doing the work of the digital, but it's also doing the work of the print at the exact same time. So you're getting a two for one win right here, right now with this simple activity that won't take you any time at all. Make sure you got your download ready to go. If you enjoy this video, give it a like. And if you want to hear more about easy tips and strategies for English curriculum building, make sure you guys subscribe. All right, let's jump right into the video and get started. All right, guys. So remember, we're going to do this in five simple steps and build our digital poetry choice boards. So the first step is to really understand what a choice board is. A choice board is something that looks like a grid that offers students choice in the activity that they're going to accomplish or the content that they're going to learn. So a choice board can look something like this. There are all kinds of other versions of it out there on Pinterest and on the internet. So take a look around to really get a feel for the different types of layouts that are possible. The second step in creating a digital choice board is defining your purpose. What will be the purpose of this choice board? Are you going to use it to assess students? Are you going to use it as a month long um, place where kids can pick and choose the homework that you want them to do? Really understanding what it is that you want the content and the purpose of this board to be is an important step before you actually get started making it. So one and two is understanding what the project actually is. And second, defining the purpose that this choice board is going to serve for your students. Now let's move into option number three, step number three, setting up your board. You can see with my board, this sample is using what's called a column formation. So my columns are titled. And in this digital poetry choice board, I've decided that each column should be labeled with a different type of poem. So I want the students to be writing poetry. That's my purpose. I want them to write a variety of different styles of poetry. And I really just want them to do this as practice for homework. So I'm going to provide some simple tutorials that will help students really understand the types of poems that I want them to be exposed to. But I'm not expecting that they become experts through this process. This is more of an experience that I just want them to have some practice and exposure and learn some new things. So 
I want to organize this board through columns because I think if it's random, it's going to be hard for students to really know, for at least hard for them to know like what to follow. And for me, I really do want to force my students to try some things that maybe are a little bit out of their comfort zone while still giving that choice. So you can see I chose for column one, I want them to write a rhyming poem a poem that's got difficult rules. So this is a form poem for those of you guys who know all about poetry. I want them to write a poem inspired by a song and I want them to write some free verse poetry. So now what I need to do that I have the board set up is start filling in the choices that my students are going to have. So I have a four week unit coming up and I would like the kids to write one poem a week. So they're going to get to choose one from each column. That's the idea behind the choice board. That's how I'm going to set it up. And that's the purpose that I have in mind. So the physical digital setup is going to be step number one. Four. So just as a recap, step one, understand what a choice board is and how it functions. Second, define your purpose. Third, set up your board. That's formatting it. And then fourth is going to be making it digital. So what I have here, guys, is the digital outline that you can also use when creating yours. So here's how you're going to work with it. Under writing with rhyme, I found this video that explains to students how to write a couplet. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to write a couplet. Great, so I think this video is plenty of instruction that students will need to learn how to write with couplets. And I'm gonna tell them to write a couplet poem. So I'm gonna say here, write a poem using at least six couplets. Okay. I want them to know what a couplet is, so I'm gonna link the word couplet right here and paste it. So this is now one of my students' choices. They can write a poem using at least six couplets. Then I can continue here, maybe I want them to do, uh, I want them to try writing, write a sonnet, a very famous type of rhyming poem. I would then go to YouTube or uh, a web page that's really helpful, or maybe a resource that we've already used during the school year. And I would simply double click on sonnet, link, and then paste the link that I want the students to use right here in the box. So then you start just to fill in your board until you've got all of the different exercises present that you need for the activity. It's that simple. The fifth and final step in creating your choice board is going to be assigning it and giving the students the directions that they need to follow. So in this case, I gave the students directions saying, as we work through our poetry in it, I'd like you to choose a different challenge each week for the next four weeks. Simply choose a different task for each column. When you're done, fill in the box with a color to indicate that you've completed the task. So my students to show me on their choice board what they've finished, they would simply click on this box. Then they're going to hit the paint can button and they'll fill it to show me that they've completed that task. That's simple. So on Google Classroom, it kind of gets a little tricky of how you want things to come in. Um, you could have students uh, add pages to this Google slideshow to just write their poems. So they could have slide three, four, five, six, seven, could be all of their poems right here in this document. You might make a separate Google document where you want the students to be writing their poems. That's kind of up to you where you want the poems to go. But as far as the choice board's concerned, it's that simple to indicate which ones they've done. So maybe I did this choice, I did this choice, this choice, and this choice. Now at a glance, you can see what the four things are that your students chose to um, complete. And it's all there ready for you, nice and simple. Okay, so I've also given you guys a very, very open-ended choice board copy here. So don't forget you guys can download this 
free template right down in the description box where you find this video and it is all yours. This will come to you as a copy and you will be able to edit it to your needs. So this is a great one. Um, another option that is not, I didn't include, but you guys can see it in my blog post. You can also set this up in a tic-tac-toe format or you can just totally randomize your boxes. So you guys can get rid of this altogether. There's no need to have all of the skills separated if you just want to give a board of choices. That's also fine. I've seen people do this with bingo. I've seen all different kinds of choice boards. So be sure to do your research and get inspired before starting. But this is the easy, simple digital process that you will take in order to create your digital poetry choice board. If you guys found this video helpful, I would love it so much if you gave this video a like, shared it with a friend, and subscribed to the channel. I am so thankful that you joined me today, and I hope that you find yourself inspired and ready to create a digital poetry choice board of your own. Thanks, guys. See you around later, and keep on adventurous teaching.